All right, the last problem from our potential energy question. And we have an artillery shell that's fired at a target. The target is 213 meters above the ground. The artillery um, shell starts off on the ground. Um, when the shell is 105 meters in the air, it has a speed of 197 meters per second. Um, what is the speed when it hits the target? Neglect air friction, right? So there's no friction in this problem. Let's go over and take a look at the scenario we're talking about. So we've got our um, we've got our artillery piece here. Oh come on! There we go. Now I'll make it in more gun-like. We've got our shell that's going to be fired off. Make it red again. Okay. So it takes off in some direction. Boom right off it goes we don't know its velocity when it starts out but we do know at some later point it's up here it's up here it has some velocity V All right that's just VI we'll call it that's our initial velocity uh, it's not really our initial velocity, but it's our initial velocity. Well, maybe just call it V1, right? It's V1. Um, we know its mass, and we know what? We know its height, right? So how high off the ground or how high off of our initial starting point are we, right? So we know that. Um, so we, need, we know H1. Okay. So we know H1, we know V1, and we know that the target, or whatever it is we're trying to hit over here, all right, we know that the target is at a different height. Right, it's at a different height, H2. All right, and we know at this point there's a different velocity where we're concerned about, V2. And we want to know what V2 is, because we know everything else. We know H1, we know H2, we know V1. Well, again, this is an energy conservation problem. We know U1 plus K1, no frictional forces involved, right, equals U2 plus K2. What's our equation for potential energy in both cases? U in both cases, U is MGH. And what's the kinetic energy in both cases? K is 1 half is is one half mv squared, right? So we just go through, we solve for everything we need to have, we put all this, we put this equation together, um, solve for our v2 over here to get what is the velocity of the projectile. I really need to turn this up a little bit. When it hits, there we go. That makes more sense. Right, when it hits over here, what is the project what is the velocity of the projectile at that point all right that should get you going on the third one good luck